As we all know, Stephen Curry is one of the most clutch players in the NBA, but this is a story about his clutchness at a very, very young age. And we're not even talking about high school here, we're not talking about college, we're not talking about when he was a rookie. This is when he was in 8th grade, and this is his coach, his 8th grade coach, recalling a story about Stephen Curry taking over a game. Now obviously he's become widely recognized as one of the top players in the league, two-time MVP, a unanimous MVP, in fact the first unanimous MVP of all time. Some disagree because of the fact that Jordan was never unanimous and Jordan is seen as a better player than Curry, LeBron is not ever unanimous, so it's pretty crazy to think that Stephen Curry, a 6 foot 1 to 6 foot 3 point guard was the first unanimous MVP, it's pretty crazy, but I mean his team did break the all-time record wins, 73 wins in a regular season, which is pretty crazy as well. So the amount that Stephen Curry has put into his game to make him one of the best NBA players in the NBA today is a lot. He put in so much work, but this story is way before he really knew he was making it to the NBA. In fact, Stephen Curry, if you've really followed his journey, he never knew that he was making it to the NBA. Of course, his dad played in the NBA, but a lot of schools didn't have faith in Stephen Curry. I mean, he was undersized, he wasn't amazing, he was just a solid shooter, and he didn't really know if he was going to make the NBA. But now, as we all know, he's one of the best players in the NBA, and this story really shows the first glimpse of what he could become. He was in 8th grade, remember that. In August 2017, Stephen Curry's 8th grade basketball coach recalled an epic moment during a game where the Warriors star showed some flashes of his potential self at a very young age. He said, The Saints were down by 8 points with about a minute left in the championship game. Remembering, Stephen Curry obviously played for the Saints. It was a championship game and they had an undefeated season on the line against Hillcrest Junior Public School. They had multiple guys who were 6 foot plus, which obviously in 8th grade is pretty tall. Coach called a timeout, huddled on the sidelines with his players. He says, guys, I think we're going to lose. I'm out of ideas. I have nothing left to give you on how to beat these guys. Now, first of all, number one, what kind of coach is that? He just told his players that they're probably going to lose. Come on, coach. you got to be better than that. Second of all, obviously, you know it's, it's time. I mean, one minute left. This is Curry, this is clutch time, all right? Curry then piped up, give me the ball. Coach goes, all right, just give him the ball. <laughs> Next thing you know, Curry hits a three, gets a steal, hits another three. Field hits a three, Curry hits another three. I've never seen anything like it, like he said. We ended up winning the game. It was a 13 point swing around and it was entirely because of him. Now, I don't know about you, but the way that Curry's changed the NBA in today's landscape is pretty amazing. Curry seems to be able to change the game in the span of a minute to five minutes. The way he can shoot is amazing, it's incredible. The way that the Warriors play is obviously, it reinvented the game of basketball. Everyone pretty much nowadays runs the small ball. Although it didn't originate from the Warriors, the Warriors really implemented that into their game and they were able to use it to be one of the greatest teams ever assembled. So for Stephen Curry, this was obviously the first sign of greatness for him. The chance to be clutch, something that every young player dreams of. But Stephen Curry isn't the only one that possesses this clutch gene. Another player is Kyrie Irving, which if you guys want to see a Kyrie Irving young story when he was clutch at a very young age, I can make a video on that. I know a story about Kyrie being clutch at a young age. But this story just makes it even more clear that Stephen Curry has always possessed the utmost confidence in his ability, which is why it makes him so fun to watch. And it also helped him fuel to reach the point where he is today, a two-time MVP, and obviously he's won two of the last three NBA titles. Titles. Stephen Curry obviously is taking his game to another level. Every year he seems to take another level, apart from maybe last year. Ultimately, this is an anecdote and it just shows you something that Stephen Curry has had for a long time. The ability to be clutch. And it's not something that all players possess. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, definitely hit that subscribe button. A lot more NBA content just like this. More stories, more what ifs, and I really want to get back into the conspiracy videos. I made one about LeBron James and his brother and father. If you guys want to watch that video, I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. But the next one I want to do is about Otto Porter and Wilt Chamberlain. And I know it may seem crazy, but the whole conspiracy theory is it doesn't have to be real, but we analyze and dissect why it could be a fact. 
even though that's obviously what we're going to do in the video. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. I'm out. It's been your boy Nick Smith. Check out the new merchandise, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.